Hey, it's Bob here. Today I'd like to talk to you about the tune bot. It's a little gizmo to tune your drums. Um, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments, and I know the comments will go along the lines of, why do I need a device to help me tune my drums? I tune my drums by ear. And you're absolutely right. Why do you? And like you, I was totally reluctant to embrace any technology to help me tune my drums because I've been doing it by ear forever. But, I'm going to be truly honest with myself, if I listen to some recordings across time, I can hear that my tuning has varied. And I can also hear that my intervals across toms aren't always perfectly pitched. Um, which sometimes is a bit of a bummer and sometimes it's a, a happy mistake. Um, point is, I can never get back to it if it is a happy mistake. Um, so, a friend of mine put me onto these. And he said, Bob, just embrace a bit of technology, give it a go. You know who you are, shout out to you. Um, he also said, <laughs> I hope you don't mind, he also said, look, when the car was invented, people would sit at the bar and go, huh, why would I buy a car when I got a horse? Yeah, and that's kind of true too. Personally, I like my car and I can't ride a horse. Um, and to be honest, now that I've tried the tune bot, it is a great little gizmo. It really does work. Um, what you do, you can download an app, and the app gives you a whole heap of information about tuning drums. It gives you lots of tools to calculate what frequencies you might want. Um, also, and here's a power play in it, it also gives you what they call artist tuning. And what you get is 25 well-known artists, De Dennis Chambers, uh, Mark Schulman, Jason Bittner, uh, Rose Morgan, they're, they're all there, 25 of them. And it gives you the frequencies of the top and the bottom heads of the drums that they play, which is great. And that's what I've used. So I've tuned my drums to be in between a Mark Schulman and a Jason Bittner uh, tuning frequency and I'm really, really happy with it and I can consistently get back to it. I change my head um, at a venue and, you know, I've played it for a while, I just need to tune back in a little bit. I just clip this thing on, quickly tap around and it's tuned and it's tuned exactly to where I want it to be every time. So let's have a look at this little device. Um, there's really not much to it. This is the TuneBot gig. It's the one that I'm using. It's just simply it's just got a little on-off button. Um, it's got a battery compartment. So it just runs on two AAA batteries. Um, so if you've run out and you're staying in the hotel for the show, um, go to the remote control in your room, pull out the batteries and you can use it. Um, no, don't do that. Um, what I will say is, just one little bugbear about this, the way that the plastic is moulded for the battery case, um, it just puts a little lip above the spring terminals for the batteries. Um, so you can't get your fingers in behind those lips to push the battery against the spring. So look, here's a little hack that you might want to use. Um, I'll just put a little bit of gaffer tape around my battery I've just made a little tab there that I can just put my fingers on. So I can then just get my battery, hold it by the tab instead. And just use the tab to push the battery in and out. I don't have to get my fingers around that lip. Um, it just makes a really easy job of it. So you put your two batteries in. Like so. Clip it on your drum. Like so turn it on and go around. So let's tune this little 10 inch Tom in together. Oh, and just one other quick thing to say, when you are tuning them, the one thing that you do need to do is just to make sure that you isolate the bottom head so it doesn't vibrate. Um, so I just use a scrap bit of foam at home, just put the drum on there, so I can just use a higher table, um, clip it on and go. At gigs, I'll just put this straight on my drum stool, 
The bottom head is still being held back by the cushioning of the seat, stops it from vibrating. I can tune the top head in, flip it over, tune the bottom head in, and you're done. All right, let's have a look at the tuning. So, as you can see, it doesn't take long to tune in. I really just had it clipped on, went around, it's there. Um, I knew the frequencies I wanted because I'd already worked that out from the app itself. Um, and I noted the frequencies for my drums in a little note section of my phone. So let's just pull up the note section. That size drum, that's the frequency for the top head, that's the frequency for the bottom head. Tap it in, it's done. And it's done right how I like it every time, first time. So, if you're like me and you're reluctant, push your boundaries a little bit, give this a go. I really can recommend what a difference it makes to, uh, certainly for me, what a difference it made for tuning drums. Um, and lastly, if you haven't done it already, and you do like this stuff, or you just want to support what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and don't forget to like this video and smash that bell.